Bellator MMA now presents the co-main event three, five minute rounds in the welterweight division. Live on Showtime, we introduce the blue corner. At six foot one, weighing in 170.9 pounds. Impressive as a professional, he brings 13 wins, four losses originally. Hailing from Jamaica, he's fighting out of Hollywood, Florida, the ass kicking machine, Jason Jackson. And across the cage is adversary, fighting out of the red corner. At six foot, weighing in 170 pounds, even the former world title challenger, who's near perfect as a professional. He brings 10 victories, just one defeat, fighting out of Newport Beach, California, by way of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Introducing Neymar Gracie. And your referee, Kevin McDonald. Let's go. Current champion is Douglas Lima at 170. We have Jackson in the blue gloves. He holds a victory over Lima's brother in the regional circuit. And of course, Gracie in the red gloves challenged then champion Rory McDonald for the title. Bounce back with a victory over John Fitch. And Gracie trying to swim in with those strikes, trying to close the distance to try to get the clinch and potentially force the takedown. Jackson's not having it thus far, John. Oh, landed a beautiful shot and circled out, keeping his back off the fence, and then went right back to that low calf kick on that lead leg of Damon Gracie. Jackson said his mission is to finish Gracie as he catches him with a one-two. He wants to make a statement. He wants to show everyone that he deserves to be fighting for the title. His last five fights have gone to the judges. Jason Jackson landing a very heavy right hand multiple times now. He's setting it up with that jab. Four of his 13 wins have come via form of knockout defense. The takedown against Gracie and plants a right hand in Gracie's face as now Jackson momentarily in top position. Beautiful escape by Gracie right into back control and right into the hook. Something went very strange there. It was almost like Jason Jackson stopped. I don't know what it was, but he was in a position on top and all of a sudden... Well, he's on the verge of being stopped here. But you're right, John. It almost seemed like... There is oh, he's talking to him. Let's listen in, John. Let's listen. There is some type of injury that occurred. So Gracie continues to fish for the submission, but obviously something has transpired here in the opening round. And Jason Jackson in trouble here, John. Yeah, I really don't know what it is. I, can't, I, can't start this unless... I think he's saying he can't see. I think that he actually, when he went on top of Naaman Gracie, I believe that his le the left side of his face got basically cheese gratered by the fence, and it has affected his vision. And that's exactly what happened, John. And now a compromised Jason Jackson needs to somehow try to defend the submission attempt from Naaman Gracie. As ominous as it gets when you're in a position like this against the Gracie's, and it's obvious that Jackson's got issues. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. And you're looking, you, you hate to have a fighter get injured by something or running into the fence. Uh, I don't know how bad his eye is, but it was obvious that he just stopped well, fighting. Stop trying to revert. Mind. Stop. Time. Time. Okay? I'm going to let the doctor take a look at that. We'll go back to this position if he can continue. Complaining about his eye. I'm just standing over there for Name it. All right, here we go. This is what we're looking at. You see Jason Jackson on top. He's good. Yeah. And okay. Naaman here. tries face to move down. his head. You see right there where his face goes into the fence. He kind of just rakes down on that chain link. He's going to continue. Yeah, they wait, wait. <laughs> restarted in full mount with. Wait. You ready? Ready time? Fight. With Gracie. Deploying that head and arm momentarily as uh, Jackson trying to 
somehow reverse his fortunes here. Two minutes left in the opening round. Well, what happens with that, Morrow, so everyone understands is when Jason oh, gets hurt, by, nice reverse Jackson. by Jason Jackson, but when Jason, thought, John. when Jason gets hurt, he's hurt himself. It wasn't, there was nothing illegal done by Naaman, so it becomes what we call a fair blow. So it's not like that, oh, they're going to stop the fight and there'll be a no contest. He would lose the fight on a TKO if that fight was stopped. And yet here he is now working in the uh, closed guard of Naaman Gracie. Big right hand landed by Jason Jackson. And you see he's still, he's still pawing at that eye. Still causing a problem. We yes, from uh, yes, yes, MMA yes, legend yes, to Hoist Gracie yes, as Jackson yes, taking yes, Naaman Gracie yes, to the yes, canvas. Yes, Jackson's yes, just a little yes, bit upset yes, with yes, everything yes, that's yes, occurred, yes, so he's yes, taking yes, it out right now on Naaman. That was a beautiful, yes, sweet yes, kick yes, in the legs yes, out of yes, Naaman yes, Gracie. Yes, and there's a calf yes, kick yes, by yes, Jackson. Yes, Gracie yes, misses yes, and just... So does Jackson. Yes, barely a minute left here in the first round. This is the normal type of takedowns that you see Nam Gracie going for. He gets the body lock. Takedown by Jackson. Jason Jackson, who's overpowering. Naaman Gracie with these takedowns. Jackson started training MMA at the age of 19. One of the things, if you want to consider it, Marl, Jason Jackson fights out of Sanford MMA. There's a guy named Rory McDonald who is the only loss on Naaman Gracie's record. That's his training partner, so at least he's got a good idea of what Naaman does when he's on the ground. Here we go. You can see what occurs with this little motion right now. All of a sudden, Jason Jackson's face gets raked, and you see it getting pulled onto that chain link. That was the cause of the damage. A strange situation, but something he's going to have to fight his way through. Hey, keep it pumping. The bell in round two. Jackson in the blue gloves, Gracie in the red gloves. Jackson comes out firing. How do you have that eventful opening five minutes on your unofficial scorecard, Joe? Well, it's a weird round to score because I gave it to Damon Gracie based upon he got all those positions. He did some damage on top. He went after the submission. But if it wasn't for that raking in the face, which caused all that, I would have given it to Jason Jackson. He's the guy that did the better work for the times when he was actually fighting and that incident didn't occur. You wonder now about his peripheral vision on that left eye as he brings the fight to Gracie, moving forward, flashing the jab, fainting. There's a cat kick by Jackson that lands with authority. And he's been very effective with that low cat kick. He has landed that several times. Oh, goes for the knee. Gracie cinches the takedown, immediately puts in one hook, jumps on the back. Jason Jackson just physically very strong. 6 1. The 30 year old with a record of 13 and 4. He's 4 and 1 in Bellator. Looking to lace a Kimura grip on that arm of Gracie just to make it to where it puts Gracie in a position where he has a hard time deciding where, where he's going to go to. He can't get it right now. Gracie just leaning on that body, making him try to carry that weight. Nice digging of the underhook. Good job by Jason Jackson. Right, Dig that underhook tables. and turn him. Yeah, on Gracie. Pinned him along the fence. Now Gracie's still holding on. There's the exit. Gracie with a calf kick on the exit. Jab from Jackson. Gracie throwing the right hand. I have to wonder how much that left eye is you're bothering Jackson, but he still just remains as game as ever. Well, and you can see that there is some swelling around the eye, but the real question is, what is the vision of that left eye? Is he seeing blurry? Is he not seeing at all? Oh, 
Still to come, the main event, the semifinals of the featherweight Grand Prix. Patricio Pitbull defending the 145-pound championship in a rematch with Emmanuel Sanchez. The winner will defend the title in the final against undefeated A.J. McKee. And that's all still to come as they run it back. Right now, Gracie controlling Jackson along the fence. Jackson getting to his, well, to his knees, trying to get back to his feet, being neutralized by Gracie. Yeah, Naaman right now has got a good position with his hands around the lower hip area or upper leg area of Jason Jackson. So he's just kind of just hanging out there, and Jason's just kind of hanging out too. Naaman normally gets his takedowns from those body lock positions, and that's how he got it off of a tilt to get Jason to the ground. We're gonna see what he can do with him at this point once it, while it's down here, though. Jackson told us that he didn't want to give up any position, didn't want to give Gracie anything, wants Gracie to do something out of his comfort zone. But here with a minute and a half left in the second, Gracie controlling Jackson along the cage. Uh, he's not only controlling Jackson, you see he's legs. slowly and systematically getting that figure four on those legs to control those legs so that he can now put pressure on Jason Jackson, the Gracie family taking a page out of the Nurmagomedov book. Thank you very much. Don't let him hook. Don't let him hook. Hide your ankle. Jason, one minute. Keep going, man. Under a minute left here in the second round, and really a bit of a stalemate. Gracie needs to improve position as well, John. He's just holding you, punch you in the face. Yeah. Nothing much happening here. Not a whole lot. Gracie right now is he's just trying to wait for Jason Jackson to make the move so he can try to take the back or move towards a mount position. He, he should be reaching out. You see that hand on the ground there, Moro? He should be reaching out and taking that away because that way he could drive Jason Jackson to his back. Yes, he's punching. He's punching. 15 seconds. Gracie continues to try to tie up Jackson's legs. Final 10 seconds of the second round. Monta, monta, Gina. É tua, bicho. Essa porra é tua. Tu vai ganhar agora. Quando eu falar pra tu, levanta a cabeça e joga o quadril, tu vai cair montado, porra. Now David is getting beaten up in the corner by his cousin, Enzo. Enzo Gracie headlined the first <laughs> MMA event on Showtime February 10, 2007 against Frank Shamrock and, yeah, all-star corner with Enzo Gracie and Rafael Cordero. And meanwhile, Jason Jackson, who's had to endure that left eye injury, begins the third and final round, flashing a jab as Gracie goes downstairs with that low calf kick. That jab is something I think if Jason Jackson wants to win this fight, he needs to start really pumping that jab. Make him and have a problem with it. Make him try to come in where he can land a big shot. Double jab by Jackson, unable to find the range, but there's Gracie avoiding that cap kick. Very patient. Nice job of sampling Gracie. Yep. Circles away from Gracie's forward momentum. Jab lands for Gracie. Single shots, though, John, here in the third round. Well, both guys you know, are working. They, they put a lot of energy out at this point. But it's Gracie's the one. He's just trying to push towards that cage. A spinning back kick that lands for Naaman Gracie. Don't see too many of those coming from <laughs> Gracie. Not too many. He's working with Cordero. A little overextension there by Naaman. Solid jab lands for Jackson again. Jackson planting the jab and a jab from Gracie. Jackson misses with a wild right. He can double up on that jab. He's already having a problem again. Jason, do the chest. Separate. Look at me. All right. Go stand right here for a minute. Jason, in the center. Just watch out. There was one quick push where your fingers went out. Stay right there, okay? Entendeu, Neymar? Agora tá voltando pra baixo, então. Jason, 
Jason Jackson saying that he got kind of raked right. to the eyes. I'll take a look. Call the doctor in. Or we get back to it. Yeah, the fingers went right into the eyes. All right. Hey, Doc. That's his one good one now. Is it time to bring in the Pride Fighting Championships gloves to <laughs> MMA in North America? Well, the first eye injury had right. nothing to do with the gloves. That yep. one right there was just basically that push off. On, but when that's your only good eye right now in your fight, you're saying, well, I need it. You see the, the jab lands to the left eye a little bit, but it's that poke right there to his right eye. That's what he's having a problem with now. We good? All right, stay back for me. Wait till the doc's out the cage. Okay. Ready time? Three minutes remain in this fight. Both Gracie and Jackson looking to move up the rankings. Gracie looking for another opportunity at buying through the welterweight championship while Jackson looks for his first championship opportunity. And look at the total strikes landed. Yeah, the, the, the total strikes when you look at 73 for Gracie. Jackson coming into beautiful job, stopping the takedown, getting top position, and no fence to cause an injury on his eye in the middle of the cage. Now Jackson with Gracie on his back. Let's see what Jackson could do to improve his position and make life difficult for Naaman Gracie, who is right now very comfortable on his back. Naaman's doing a great job of what we call controlling his posture. He's breaking his posture down, taking his legs out away from with those grapevines at times. So there's not a whole lot of power that Jason Jackson can bring, even if he tries to strike right now. And really, he's trying to control his balance because Naaman bringing those arms up higher and higher. You see how Jason Jackson's arms are getting over the top of his head. That could be a problem for him as far as his balance. Keep your fingers away from his eyes. Referee admonishing Jackson, telling him to keep his fingers away from well, Gracie's eyes. We've had enough fingers, and yeah. we've had enough eyes. Well, what Jason's trying to do is he wants to bring that forearm over the top so he can create a frame to push Gracie's head away, which will break the hand. You got one minute, 20 seconds there, JJ. Stay in the guard, don't let him get out. No mistakes here, be smart. Let's go, guys. Use your shoulder. Use your shoulder. Use your shoulder. You can hear Damon Gracie talking to him underneath. Talking to each other. Yeah, he continues to control Jackson's, Jackson's posture and the clock. 45 seconds. Ticks away. Yes. Under a minute left in the third. Bigger four around the legs. Both of them win. So right now, you've got Jason Jackson is stuck. He's on the top position, but he's unable to advance anything. He's unable to actually do a whole lot of posture because he's using his arms as his balance points of his legs. Gracie looking for the reversal. He's going to get it. Nice job by Jason Jackson to keep that from happening right now. Looking, listening to his corner with that wizard punch. He can't, he can't be offensive. Because he's defending against the reversal. Final 15 seconds of this welterweight matchup. And a tough night at the office for Jason Jackson. First with that self-inflicted eye injury and well, being controlled by Naaman Gracie. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go to your judges' scorecards where all three judges, Sal D'Amato, Michael Bell, Eric Colon, all seen exactly the same, 29 to 28. All have it for the winner by unanimous decision, the ass-kicking machine, Jason Jackson. Yes! Jason Jackson overcoming early adversity and recording the victory as he continues his winning ways here in Bellator MMA as he just had added Naaman Gracie to the list, his winning streak, including victories over Gracie. Benson Henderson, Jordan Meehan, Hichi Kudimoto, and well, let's, uh, let's go to Big John McCarthy. Jason Jackson, get over here, mister. What are you doing?
Congratulations on a very hard fought win, but it was a strange fight. What occurred in that first round when your face touched the chain link? What did you feel? What did you experience? I felt my eyelid roll back and the whole thing scrape all the way down to the bottom of the cage. It was just all blood. I didn't know what to, I didn't know if I wanted to give up. And then I thought about, I don't want 60. I want the whole thing. So I just survived, man. I ain't come here to do all this hard work just to give up on myself and my family and everybody that's watching in Jamaica, my corner from Stanford. I, I wasn't gonna give up on my team. Did you have any type of vision problems based upon that injury against the cage? I had one eye when I got up and started striking him. He hit me with a good shot, but I didn't see it. I was like, man, we got to do jab for jab and just stick with it. But I didn't get my vision back into the third round. Well, I'm taking a look at the leg kicks that you landed, especially that low calf kick and your jab. Might have been the difference in, that, in this fight. Was that something you said, I'm just going to go back to what I'm being successful with? Yes, I was planning on coming stingy in this fight. Just, you know, use the jab, just jab, jab to when I get tired, and that's what I did. Well, I want to tell you, congratulations. That is a big victory. Who would you want next? Tell me quick. Well, I think I'm, I, I'm next for the belt, so I don't know who I want next as a champ, obviously. Whoever win, whenever they defend the champ, I want the champ. And who don't feel like I, I should get the champ, we could fight. Sounds good to me. Congratulations on a big win for you. Jason Jackson, your winner. Jason Jackson with a four-fight winning streak now. And yeah, very uh, bizarre fight tonight involving Naaman Garst. Gracie, as we go back to Jen Brown. All right, thanks, Marlon.